Alright, so now we're just going to start trying to paint in some of these dark areas uh, that you can see like in the crevices and the cracks that kind of really define the actual geometry uh, and start kind of adding like a little bit of realism. So let's work on that. Um, the next thing, I'm probably going to break this video into like two parts just because it might get a little long. But what we're going to do is we're going to work with masks. So I'm going to come down here and drop down our masking palette and my favorite mask to work with and I see it a lot in other videos and stuff so it's definitely a very popular one uh, among lots of ZBrush artists to get started here is masking by cavity so let's see that's right here just drop that down mask by cavity just click that and like BAM it just so magically finds all the cavities, the crevices, the the stuff that kind of needs to have dirt and dinginess in it. So that was easy. That makes it real easy to do that. But you got to refine it a little bit. Like if we zoom in here, you'll see right now if we paint on that, it's kind of looking like pixelated. That's not going to look that great if we just paint right on that. So the first thing that I like to do is just blur the mask. But in this case, it's just blurring it too much. Like I, I want to have a little bit more of that definition, but I don't want those hard edges. So I'm just going to undo that. And you would think that this mask by cavity with this blur right here would change it. But I've tried that, changing this and then clicking that, and it doesn't work. But what I did find that works is this mask adjust up here, if you just drop that down. And let's set our mask to like a blur of like 10, so it's not a huge blur. And then click Apply. This is a much better blur. So it depends on how much clarity you want in your blur. Uh, if you want it to be real blurry, if you want a little bit more detail in it. Um, but I think this one looks pretty good. Now, um, one other thing that we can do uh, is inverse this. So um, depending on what you wanted to paint, if we wanted to paint on just the, um, you know, these little like bumps and, and the actual uh, the skin of it, you know, then we can uh, leave it like this. If we want to paint on the the parts that's actually masked right here, we're going to have to click invert. So let's do that. Let's let's not clear the mask because that'll actually get rid of it, but let's unclick view mask so we can't see it anymore. So now I have, I picked these two colors I because I'm on color spray, so it's going to use the two colors. So I picked these two colors that I think will look pretty good. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure C adds off again <coughs> and RGB selected. And I'm just going to RGB intensity of 100 is probably going to be like too much. Yeah, I mean, like it's kind of filling in a little harshly there, but we can build up. What I'm going to do is just slide this down to like maybe like a 20. That'll give us a a little bit of a easier way to kind of just work our way up with it but a really quick way to get like the whole thing going is just to do a color fill object but you want to do that at like a low intensity so it's you know if you if you did that on a hundred color fill object like that's just way too much it just doesn't look good it looks kind of like the automatic um, just like the mask did so I'm going to undo that and let's just slide back down to like, I don't know, that 20 looked a little bit um, low. So I'm going to maybe bring it up to like a 30 and try it again and do another color fill. And that's like starting to look a little bit better. We're already starting to get some like cool details. Um, but actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that again. Now I'm thinking that's too much. So let's come back down to 20 and do it again. Fill object. I think that that's looking better, um, but honestly, it looks too much. Again, I'm gonna try like a ten, cause this is filling on top of what we already did. Okay, so yeah, if I did twenty and twenty, then I'm doing a forty. So I just did like a twenty and a ten. I think that looks pretty good. But now, with uh, let's make let's make sure our alpha's on. We want to work with O seven and. Um, I'm going to do a, a color spray here. 
Um, now we can just start to actually spray spray on it. And I'm going to bring up my intensity so he can see what I'm doing because just then I wasn't really seeing anything at all. And I think I'm actually going to turn my alpha off for a minute here just so you can see. I, th I kind of liked the way this was filling in with no alpha in, the, in this area. I was getting a little bit more of those actual yeah that looks pretty nice so you can see like very quickly without a lot of work we are able to get some really cool detail going on very realistic detail this is why ZBrush is the stuff I mean like you can't, you can't texture even if you're not going to render in ZBrush and you're going to take this you can export this map now like I mean I remember back in the day when I was in college like trying to color in a creature from Max and doing the unwrap and then trying to do this kind of stuff in like Photoshop and then see like well where's that dot going to line up on it and all that kind of thing so <laughs> it was crazy like this is just this is like magic compared to what s some people had to deal with back in the day <laughs> like myself um, I'm just going to do a little bit more without this stroke and I just on this creature I'm like really liking the way that it's kind of coloring him in without the um, the stroke but normally I'd have these on and I always normally do I just for some reason I was just really feeling the way that was looking I think I'm going to add uh, a slightly darker colors now and just darken this darken this up Let's come up here, make this a little bit bigger. Let's make our intensity a little higher so you can really see what's going on. And just continue just refining a little bit up in the top. That looks pretty sick. So, uh, I think I'm going to stop the video here just so that it doesn't get too long but um, we'll play around with these um, a little bit play around with these a little bit further in the next video I'm going to show you a couple other ways to um, use the mask play around with the mask uh, just to continue refining it and making it look even better and I guess one thing I will say though before I stop this video is if you if you feel like oh man this is looking really good but I may have done like a little too much that's not really too big of a deal because when you clear your mat your mask then you have the opportunity to just paint over what you did so you can start softening what what you know like this paint that I'm now applying is going over the entire model so you don't have to get too concerned about things maybe not looking exactly right because you can the more like I said before the more layers you add the better so as we keep adding things and doing more masks and doing more um, areas with another color spray over the masks it just keeps looking more and more realistic so you got to do a lot of a lot of passes and then once we're kind of got a good uh, base going on all over the whole body like this the next thing is that we're gonna um, probably import some actual crab textures and do a little bit of um, actually casting the material onto the uh, um, the geometry using lightbox or uh, sorry the projection master so Yep. Uh, let's let's stop this here, and in the next video, I'll show you uh, some more masking techniques.